Welcome back to Pullman Crossover, your boy PJ, Mark and Mark, and we got Zach Z. How do you want to be called when you're on the show, man? Uh, you can call me Zach if you want to. Okay, Zach, I can call you anything you want, but the thing that remains um, absolutely certain is that you can ball. Mark found your Instagram uh, video. Mark, just tell us about what you thought about his video. Um, when you sent you sent it to me like out of nowhere, I was actually just yeah. Like I, was, I don't know where I was. I was like at, at my kitchen, and all of a sudden he's like, "Yo, check this guy," and I'm like, "Okay," <laughs> and I looked at it. So tell me, tell me what you thought about his video. First. Oh, like at first thought, like okay, you were like on another level with the kids that you're playing against with, and you were having fun. Like I think that's like the best thing about basketball when you're starting up, when you're like you know growing up, getting into the game. Like if you're having fun, that's one thing, and it's and then to dominate is another thing. So that's something that we rarely see in hoop dom games. So we were like, hey, this kid has something, you know? Like, and like, you know, I reshared it, I reposted it to our page. We got like at least like a thousand, like uh, 1.2K on our Facebook views. So like, you know, people in the Philippines are sharing your videos because they actually see that you can ball. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, you know, I contacted uh, straight off his mom and, uh, you know, and tell him like, yo, you want to come in? Like, you know, does he want to come in? And like, I think he begged, he begged your mom actually. <laughs> like, Please get him on. Yeah. like. How did you feel though when you first like I guess like when you first got the invite to come in like how did you feel about it? I was shocked because I I never get like calls to come in to get to interview so I was like well like this is my first time getting called to get to an interview. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about like your start as a basketball player. Where did where did you start playing? Who was your um, role model? Who who ba basically put you to basketball? Uh, basically my dad. He we just start. He started a, a league like FBA Durham. Mm -hmm. And I, my dad was like, oh, maybe uh, you want to play in like a house league. We always have house leagues. And then my brother started playing. And then after a couple of years later, I started playing. So that's how it began for me to play and basketball. And your age, are you? what's your grade and um, how old are you? My name is Zachary Cedilia Walker and I'm in grade four. Wow, yeah. Let me, let, me, let me ask this question. Who pushes you? Who pushes you the most when you're training as, as a basketball player? All my coaches, mm -hmm. except, except for... It, Mostly my dad, because he's, he's the one who wants me to go as far as I can. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he pushes me to my limit, mm -hmm. where I want to go at the highest point of basketball. Mm -hmm. okay. where did you, uh, how did you find that basketball was your sport? Because you know, you're know you so young, you're figuring out what kind of sport you're How did you figure out, when did you feel like, oh, this is the kind of, you know, this is the sport that I want to play? Because when I started playing, I usually played when you're up. So I, I was, I started, I was like, whoa, like I'm playing a year up against 2007s, yeah. and I was like, maybe I can, I can start to play basketball now with my age. I can like now start to actually play basketball. How would you describe your game? Like when you go out and I don't know, if, for example, if your dad was to explain your game to someone, what would you want him to say about you? Like what would you want your defining game to be? like I guess my game I just I'm really good I, I can find my teammates I don't shoot a lot I just I know how to find them I know when to score I know when to pass so yeah that's how my my dad should explain it oh, okay you want you want to be a smart player yeah that's good okay and then so your dad your dad play, I guess he was a player back then too yeah he used to play in the Philippines with, okay. and my uncles used to play mm -hmm. in the Philippines high up in like high school or something mm -hmm. yeah so that's basically why okay so you've what you've grown up watching your dad play and your brother play yeah um, do you have this sort of um, I guess competitive nature with your brother like I'm gonna be better than you yeah but it's funny because your because <laughs> your brother actually did the video for you right yeah he's he's my my manager for my Instagram. Oh, so you got a, <laughs> He's a, you got a PR yeah. on your Instagram account. Yeah. That's awesome. No, and like that, you know, the mixtape that uh, that I found was made by him, right? So shout out to your brother for. Uh, yeah. Uh, in terms of like you know your uh, how you basically made your game, did you design? Did you play your game the way that you watch like certain player in the NBA? Yeah, certain... I usually watch Kyrie, Curry, and those those players because they're 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 all smart. They know how to play the game. They know, they're smart, they know how to shoot, they, they know when to pass. So that's why I, I model my game after them because they know when to pass, shoot. They're, they're just basically smart players. Oh, that's good. That's a good role model. If what's, you your, what's your go-to move when you're dribbling? When you, let's say the, there's like 10 seconds left on the clock. You have one move or a couple of moves to get off that shot. What would you do with the ball? I usually get to my left and then I do an, it's a really quick move to my right and then I kick it out to my teammate for the wide open shot. Because every time I drive to a lane, they're like, oh, he's going to take a layup. So they, I track my defenders and then 
ha drop it off to my fr like my teammates. Mm. Oh, that's pretty good. That's good. So yeah. in your head, you're always looking for your teammates. You're very yeah, but I know fast first. But if I'm wide open, I always, I obviously take it. Mm -hmm. And in that video, like I guess we we didn't really see a lot of like there's not a lot of passing that was as like prominent, but there was a lot of like ankle breaking and a lot of shots. Yeah. So it's cool to 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 know that from your perspective, you're always looking for that pass. Yeah. To, to have that awareness is kind of hard nowadays yeah. when you get used to... Most most kids nowadays are focused on, like, you know, because they grow up watching players like Lillard, you know, Westbrook, Curry, and, like, and Kyrie, and most of them think that it's a score-first mentality. And back in the day, point guards are actually, like, you know, the first thing is to distribute. That's why when people are talking about Lonzo Ball, like, he's a new generation type of player because of the fact that he's passed first. What do you think about that, like, you know, like... Player like Lonzo Ball is a pass first. What do you think about him? Yeah, he's good. I know he's he's really good, but I I just think that he needs to a little a little bit stop passing a little bit more because he needs to he needs to get to the lane too because yeah. mm -hmm. he he passed a little bit too much. He's a mm -hmm. good passer. Yeah, you're right. Like I feel like you know, for him to really get uh, a lot of to make the players better around him, he needs to be more aggressive because that will suck in like he did a couple games ago to have a game winner when he went driving to the lane and kicked that out to uh, Ingram. Brandon Ingram mm -hmm. for that game winner. That was, you know, like that was my, him being aggressive. Like exactly. Mm -hmm. Go, tag, pass. That's your goal to be six. How old is Tall Lonzo? <laughs> He's about 6'6". Six, six, so, <laughs> like, that's 6'6". Six, six, four, I don't know. Yeah. 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 What, what teams do you follow in the NBA? What's your favorite team and who's your favorite player? First, my favorite team is the Warriors and the Raptors. Oh, Raptors, okay. Yeah, because Toronto. Mm -hmm. You got a rep, yeah? Yeah, and then my favorite player is Curry. Hands down, Curry. Yeah. Why Curry? Is there a specific um, in-game and out-of-game kind of personality that you find? like? Yeah, he's just a really good shooter, passer. Off the court, he's really nice. He Every time he gets on the court, he, he just likes to entertain the crowd more mm. than everybody else on the court, maybe. So, yeah. Do you like entertaining the crowd? When you go out there, do you kind of put on a show? Yeah. It can't, it can't, from the video, it kind of does it look like you, show, put on, yeah. you put on a show, huh? Yeah. When you when you come into the game, what's your mindset? Like My what's... mindset that I know that my team is going to win straight away. Okay. My team has this. That's some strong words. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. No, I mean, like, if you're going to come into the game with that, with not, you know, with that mentality, that you know you're going to Exactly, right? How do you feel like at this point, uh, what are the things that you want to work on as a you know as a basketball player or in terms of skills or in terms of anything I, right now that you want to work? I on? think I need to work on more of shooting a little bit more, just like uh, Lonzo. So uh, I don't pass way too much. I, I pass just a certain amount. I just need to uh, shoot a little bit more than mm -hmm. I used to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What uh, what certain things that your coaches have told you that um, that stuck with you as a player? Fight your teammates. Don't. Mm -hmm. Don't hog the ball. Every time you get the ball push, they always tell me, "Oh, that guy is number one ranked." So that's what that's what stuck, sticks in my head that mm. I, I have to guard him harder than usual. Mm. Oh, so like you're number one ranked? No, or they're, when they're, you're facing they're telling people. me they're yeah. telling me that oh they're number one ranked. You should mm. guard them harder. And I'm like, okay, I need to guard them harder because apparently they're number one ranked. Okay, so, that's, so you that's don't what, shy away from no. You take on the best player yeah. and defend them. Which is yeah. How if Lonzo's like, I'll, I'll take you on? What are you gonna say? Come. Oh. <laughs> I'll take. You. Oh, I want to know what's your what's your what's your dream right now? What do you want? What do you want to? I want to go to the NBA right now. NBA? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. How old are you? I'm nine. I want to go to <laughs> go straight. Now. Yeah. <laughs> straight out of elementary school, you straight <laughs> out, Yeah. What's no. your what's your dream? I guess stats that you want to achieve. I guess in a game. And let's be realistic. Come on, like 105 points. 100. No. There's that guy in high school that scored 100. 135. 135. Yeah. But what? What's what's a good a, 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 like stat line for um, you? Mine's 15 points, maybe. I get like 10 assists, like two rebounds, mm -hmm. and then that's it. I, I just need a I just need a perfect stat to mm. in order to be happy mm. and the W. Oh yeah, the more W is import important. More importantly, is the True. W. And have have you felt the 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 championship rush already? Have you won championships yet? Or yeah, I have yeah. like no, no, three championships mm -hmm. maybe, around Curry's. Oh wow, oh. that's amazing! No, like yeah. we never won a championship when we played. <laughs> so I yeah. never felt that. But like, uh, what's your I guess a last thing is what's your advice for other kids out there that are 
you know, that are doing the same thing as you, working as hard as you, trying to get their games better. <laughs> People that are younger than you, let's say they're three years old, yeah. they want to be like you, because you're actually pretty good, you're pretty skilled. Like, what would you say to these three-year-olds yeah. <laughs> that, that probably want to get a good skill set? Want to get better, practice every day. Mm. Make sure you work on the fundamentals first before you move on to the advanced stuff. Mm. Good, 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 advice. good, good thing to end off on. Yeah.